a diagonal ashi. Um, a diagonal ashi is a position from which you can go for a submission called a Z-lock. In my opinion, it's the best attack for this position. Earlier today at Ancaster Jiu-Jitsu, I taught a whole seminar on Z-locks. Um, all that is going to be on my Patreon, which this will be as well. So if you want to see that summer, it'll all be up there. So you can subscribe to that when it comes out. Uh, but we'll, we'll cover it briefly now. Okay, we don't have too much time to cover it. But we'll look at this sequence to get there, and we'll, we'll cover the, the main details of what a Z lock is. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about like why I think it's so good. Okay, so for, first, before we even look at the transition, let's first cover why I think it's so good. Anytime you're going for most leg locks. Most of your, uh, both of your hands, most of your hands, as if you have most of your hands, <laughs> both of your hands are going to be committed, this is in most cases, to the submission itself, right? A heel lock, what are you doing? You got both hands on the heel. Ankle lock, what are you doing? You got both hands on the ankle. Knee bar, what are you doing? Usually both hands are on some part of the leg to keep the leg where you want it for, to bridge into the knee, right? Um, toe hold, same thing, right? With a Z lock, you're only doing the submission with one arm. There's a single exception to that. There's one variation that you can do with two hands, but that's like mega advanced and kind of ridiculous to be honest, okay? So the main type of Z like you do it with one arm, okay? The significance of that is that it leaves your other arm free to control the secondary leg. If you're controlling both of someone's legs, it's gonna be really hard for him to escape, right? When you're tying up both legs, it's tough for him to escape. Somebody asked me on Instagram the other day, what is the best position when it comes uh, to purely controlling somebody. Not submitting anyone, but just controlling them. And I said cross ashi is the best position to purely control someone because you're completely tying up both of their legs, all right? Now, the diagonal ashi, which is kind of like, it's very similar to the cross ashi, but with one obvious difference that you guys are gonna see, it also does a really, really good job of controlling both legs, but it also gives us access to the Z-lock, okay? Um, so you're, you're inhibiting his ability to move, if he can't move, he can't really escape. If he can't really escape and you know how to do the submission, probably gonna get the submission, all right? So let's look at this. So we're in the cross ashi. So first of all, what's a cross ashi? Who, who doesn't know what this is? Does anybody not? Okay, so don't worry, it's a, it's a pretty straightforward position. Both your feet go to the inside, his legs over your hip. So it's going across your center line. That's why it's called cross ashi. So my center line, it's across my center line, all right? I'm gonna come forward and grab the secondary leg. So this is his primary leg, the leg that's within my hips. Secondary leg, that's the leg that's not within my hips. Okay, the primary leg, that's what we're gonna target for submissions, both in this position and in the diagonal ashi. All right, we grip it like so, or with like an ankle lock. Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take this grip, I bring my chest really close to the secondary leg, and I take my uh, forearm and I go over the top of the thigh. And I reach through and I grip the shin, of the secondary leg. My elbow of my left arm is coming backwards. My shoulder is, shoulder and chest are to some degree over the, the front of the knee. So when he goes to pull the knee back, he's got an obstacle in his way. Okay, I'm not gonna say he can't do it, especially if he posts and he, he pushes. Yeah, you're gonna get this sometimes, but if he does that, you wanna do that? You can just go back to this, no big deal, okay? But if you grip here and we're fast enough with our transitions, we're gonna be able to get to the diagonal ashi. Now we, we go over, now this comes under. The first thing we do is we tie everything up. I grip my far shoulder. Everything is tied up. Then I'm gonna come up here like this, and I re-grip. Now I go underneath, like so. See how my left hand is still on the shin? Yeah? My right foot's on the floor, acting as a wedge, making it hard for his hips to rotate in that direction. Okay? Now this comes underneath here. Now my left hand is gonna shallow off, and I just grip the knee. And this comes over, and you make an ankle lock. Now, I'm gonna go foot to foot again. This hand comes underneath here. We rotate this to the other side. And now we have a diagonal washi. Okay, so we're gonna get this transition down, and then we'll do the Z-lock. All right, so. So this uh, grip sequence is called an over-under. So you've got over and then under. This is another, another way we can use this is to go to an inside heel lock. But we're not doing this now because we're assuming he knows how to hide his heel well. So we want to go to a diagonal ashi to get to a Z-lock instead. All right? Controlling the secondary leg. We, we don't go low like this. He's just going to pull that leg out. You, and you don't really have any control of the leg. We want to go over like this. You see how my forearm goes over 
the top of the thigh relative to his hips, right? Okay. So we go here, it goes over, grip the shin of the primary leg. And I'm still, like my shoulder and chest area is in front of his knee. All right, now from here, from under here, start with this, so everything's tight. Now, you go here, bump him up. Get this in place here. Then you re-grip here, then you go under here. Grip the, the, the knee. Make an ankle lock. This comes here, you let go of the knee. Pass this off to the other side. So the really only difference between this position, the diagonal ashi and the cross ashi, is the location of the lower part of his primary leg relative to my hips. It's outside my hips, right? Whereas here, it's inside. We would call this inside my hips, okay? Um, so that is gonna give us access to the Z-lock, which we will look at next. All right, so one more time. If you do this correctly, there's very little space for him to escape, okay? You have to be tight with this, and at any point, if you feel like you're losing control, instead of deciding to move to the next step of the transition, just go back to control, okay? So you're, in this situation, the cross ashi or the diagonal ashi, a key point is be patient, okay? You've got him where you want him. This is a bad spot for him. Just like mount, if you had someone, if, if you had mount on somebody, would you like rush to the submission? No, you would maximize control before you moved to the submission. It's the same thing here. Maximize control. As you're going to the submission, okay? If he, uh, as he, if he makes your control, if, he, if he's weakening it, just go back to controlling, okay? Anyway, so we're here, we have the primary leg, and this elbow is always coming back, okay? Now, you go underneath, because that's gonna give us a chance to tilt him up like this, which is gonna make it harder for him to escape. Now I go here, and we go under, like so. I shallow up, okay? He's gonna tr probably try to pull this leg away. If he pulls it away, it's gonna make it easier for me to get my ankle lock. You make the ankle lock, go for the foot. To get this to the other side now is very, very simple. Okay, I take this hand, flat, behind the ankle, extend, put it to the outside. And now we have a diagonal ashi. Okay, um, let's go right into the Z-lock. Um, so, what is the Z-lock first of all? All right, so we'll, we can do it from this angle. So, with the Z-lock, just go a little bit this way. Good, good. Okay, guys, so with the Z-lock, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my secondary grip, go really, really high, okay? Uh, each of my hands, uh, I'm going to use different terms to refer to them, or each of my arms, I should say. This arm, the arm that's on the secondary leg, that's the control arm. The arm that's attacking the primary leg, we call that the attack arm. Okay, so the control arm, I'm going to grip my own thigh, like so. Now we're going to fall to this side, and I'm going to make a triangle. Now, from the triangle, I'm gonna bring my knee towards my face, open up my hip, and go foot to foot. All right? Now, I go with my left hand, I push. We fall here. Now I take this hand, I grip my own knee, so I can get this right hand, the control hand, deeper and deeper on the outer part of my thigh. Taking my time, make sure I've got it latched on, I've got it anchored really, really tight. Now I take this, my attack arm, I go underneath the ankle, I drive it up to the far shoulder, okay? If at any point I feel like my fingers are sliding, the fingers of my control hand, they're sliding down, use my attack hand to re-grab uh, re re here and climb, okay? I go underneath, make a fist, drive to the far shoulder, okay? So we'll look at the whole thing one more time. Uh, let me go on the other side. So go on this side and come over here. Okay, so we've got cross ashi to start. Okay. Over the knee, get the shin of the primary leg. Okay. Under the ankle, you get here. Foot comes up. We both go up. Come back over. Get the shin again. Let me come underneath. 
make an ankle lock, pass this under, we go here. Now, we're gonna climb our grip, so it's really, really high, and we grip the thigh of, the, uh, of this leg. Okay, go to this side. We triangle. Don't just pull your knee back to your shoulder. Open up your hip. That'll help you get the foot on top of your other foot. Then we come back here. We land on this side. If my control hand is not like far enough over my thigh to feel like I really have uh, maximum tension, I'm gonna grip here and keep climbing. It's basically centimeter by centimeter. But now it feels a lot tighter, right? So I've got a really good purchase on the top outer part of my thigh. Now my right hand, go underneath, and we're gonna sit up and drive to that shoulder. Yeah, go as deep on your bicep as you can. You okay? Yeah. yeah so deep, you're a little bit more flexible on this side. Yeah. So you go here. We drive to the far shoulder. Okay, make sense guys? This is complicated, it's not easy, uh, but if you get this down, in my opinion, it's one of the most controlling, powerful leg locks that there are. All right, let's give it a try. One, two, three. And go slow with this. This is probably like more dangerous than a heel hook. So yeah, I see you over there like looking at your knees. <laughs> like, just go really slow and it'll be okay. Guys, if you have questions, don't be shy. Put your hand up. Let's maximize the source of 